Hello everyone, Transport Enthusiasts here and in this video I am going to be showing you how you can set up your steering wheel in OMC2. So this is a question that a few of you have asked me and considering that most tutorials are quite outdated at this point, um, although they still work, <coughs> I thought I'd quickly show you how it's done. So what you want to do is you want to head over into your options like so and then you want to go into Game Controller. Now one thing to bear in mind is that once you go into Game Controller, it takes this takes quite a while to load up, so this is very slow at loading up on C2, look where you start at this stage, but bear in mind that this is not ready yet, so it's it will be ready once you see some text here, so what we are going to do now is I'm going to pause this video, but be expected to wait between 5 and 10 minutes for this to load up, I think it takes about 5 minutes to load up, something like that, so once this is loaded up, I'll get back to you. But the key thing here is do not touch anything until this is loaded up or else, as you all know, obviously 2 will crash. It's quite sensitive. Okay, so I'll be back with you once this is loaded up. Okay, so that took about 3 minutes. So as you can see, once it's ready, you're going to see a bunch of different uh, writing or uh, text within. So that's how you know when this is loaded up. You may see a blue loading uh, arrow. That just means don't touch anything. It took about 3 minutes, so it can take between 3 or 5 minutes to load. Okay, so once you've loaded in, make sure that your game controller is connected. Once it's connected, you'll see it here. So here's the one I have here, USB racing wheel. So then what we do is, once you click USB racing wheel, there's two ways you can do it. You can do auto config, like so. This will just um, set it up. This uh, this will let the, the machine set it up itself. But actually, before you do that, sorry, cancel this, you need to make sure... So you have your wheel here, so this is the one you have connected, you need to now select it in this. So here you're going to see a bunch of different uh, wheels, you just need to choose the one that corresponds with the one in this box, USB racing wheel. And there you have it. So there's two ways you can do this. I've already set mine up, so I'm not going to do auto config again because it's going to mess it up. But basically, uh, you can do auto config uh, and then you can kind of just uh, adjust the settings after you do auto config or you can set them up yourself completely. So. First of all, the way you set it up is you have your axis, so the, at the x-axis you want to have steering and then what you want to do is you want to turn your steering wheel all the way to the left and all the way to the right and that will make and to make sure it's working. Sometimes your steering wheel um, may um, be going in the opposite way, so if you click reverse what this does is now if I turn left and turn right it changes the direction. Okay, now once you've set up this section you also need to take a look at the, the different options here. So. There's basically um, five different ways you can set this up. So linear basically means that um, the angle, you the steering angle you choose corresponds to the steering angle in the game. So basically, to do this, you need to make have a 900 degrees wheel. So if you are using, <coughs> if you're using like a Logitech G27, a Logitech G920, a Trustmaster uh, GTX, whatever, uh, or what is a TMX, basically any 900 degree wheel or 1080 degree wheel, you want you can have linear because your steering angle is going to be enough to correspond with the one in game. However, if you're using a racing wheel, like I am here, and which is the case, or you're using a wheel with 180 degrees, 90 degrees, or 270 degrees of uh, steering motion, then you need to choose, the best option is by progressive. What by progressive means is that it's um, the steering's <coughs> the steering's kind of centered towards the center, so basically means that the most steering happens the closer you get to the center, so as you take a look here, it does this, because if you go to linear, what you'll notice is, it, um, let me think how I can explain this <laughs> more clearly, but basically the, by basically pi progressive is the one you want to have if you have a 900, if you have a 180 or 270 or 90 degree wheel. It basically means that uh, for every time you steer, it's going to steer 5 degrees, because basically you have, <coughs> you have significantly less, um, have significantly less uh, leeway with your steering, so therefore every every one degree in on your wheel is five degrees in game, something like that. So basically, just choose by progressive. Then you also have progressive and degressive. Um, but again, you don't really take a look at this. This is not really relevant to the steering wheel. And then you have by degressive. By degressive is the opposite of by progressive. So what it means is that it's very insensitive at the center, and the more you steer, uh, the more kind of sensitive it gets. Again, you don't really use that. The next thing you want to set up is your y-axis. Your y-axis is basically your throttle or your brake. Now, um, basically, the way this works is, as you can see here, we have throttle and brake. And the reason we have this is because if you put throttle, what you're going to notice is, 
but it's still, uh, it kind of counts your throttle and brake as one. So basically, you want to select throttle and brake as one. So you don't want to have throttle in one axis and brake in the other. You want to have throttle and brake in the same axis. And then when you accelerate, this is going to, uh, when you click the accelerator pedal, it's going to go this way. When you click the brake pedal, it's going to go this way. Now, one thing you may notice is when I'm clicking the throttle, it's going backwards. What this means is that uh, if I don't have reverse, well then it's going to, it's going to register the throttle as the brake and the brake as the throttle. And um, so basically, if you see this, you just need to put reverse. So basically, uh, even if you click reverse, it's going to do the same thing. But what it means is when it's actually in game, it's going to do the reverse of what it's showing here. So again, so for instance, if you do your steering and then you're steering to the left, you notice the steering is to the right, then you click reverse. And even when you click reverse, it's still going to show you the same thing. But in game, it's going to do the reverse of what it's showing you here. So basically, if you're having that issue where your throttle is your brake and your brake is your throttle, when it should be throttle, throttle, brake, brake, just click reverse. And that should solve it there. If you have a clutch, you can set up your clutch here on the Z axis by clicking clutch, but I don't have a clutch, so we're going to leave this to none. For your throttle and brake again, you can change this. Linear you basically means that um, it's, it's the, fresh, the, the braking and the acceleration, no, regardless of the pressure, regardless of how much you press the pedal, it's going to have the same kind of impact. So, if you put, for instance, if you put it at by progressive, it means that uh, at the start when you click it, it's going to be very sensitive, and then the further down you click it, the less sensitive it becomes. So by degressive, it's the opposite. It means if you click it, the start's going to be very insensitive, and then the more you click it down, the more sensitive it's going to be. Um, you might you can trial and error with this because with some uh, pedals they're crap, so you kind of need to have them by degressive, by progressive, that kind of thing. But generally, linear should do the trick. Uh, and that's that's really it. That's your steering, and that's your throttle set up as so you can also set up your force feedback here so basically this determines uh, how much your wheel is going to vibrate when you flip a curb when you hit something when you're off-road terrain that kind of thing so you can adjust this to your liking then if we take a look at the next things we have buttons so basically your um, steering is going to have buttons you have to assign those yourself so what you can do is you click button so you click whatever button you want so button one means you're going to you click on the button and you're going to see what button shows up that's your horn and then what you do is here you can select what it goes so you can these are all the different things you can assign a button to do so you can take a look through this yourself um, everything's there and then what you do is for each button you just assign it the ident which is this here that you want and where is horn gone I've lost horn now god damn it so I want this to be the horn so let's find the horn there we go and it's basically as simple as that. Uh, generally, probably want to put a horn, handbrake, gears, shifters, that kind of thing. And yeah, that's fairly self explanatory, so I'll leave it at that. And then, once you've set up your wheel, all you have to do is you just make sure everything's correct, though. I'm going to give it a quick check. Yep, and you're going to check the buttons, make sure everything's correct, and then you just click OK, and now your wheel's ready to go. One thing to bear in mind is that um, in order for the wheel to actually be active and on to once you load them, load in your game you click K so K means your the wheel and then to switch back to the keyboard you click K again so basically if when you load into OMC2 and your wheel is plugged in you notice that the wheel is not uh, reacting that's because you need to click K for it to react I hope you found this video helpful if you did <coughs> give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe for more OMC2 tutorials and content and if you have any further questions comment down below or you can join our discord server where we have a help section that kind of thing that's it for now until next time